That's called a Little Rock getaway, but I guess the way we play it's broke down in Arkansas. We, uh, let me ask you something, brother. No, go ahead. How did your doctor's appointment come out the other day? Uh, she had a gun amnesia. Amnesia? Mm. How long you had that? Had what? Anyway, I know your kidney infection's doing a lot better, yeah, ain't it? Yeah, it's better. Yeah. Well, he had a kidney infection, and uh, he was up there to the hospital, kind of tickled me. He had a great big old mean nurse, and she come in there. She brought this little vial, and she told him, she said, Now, look, I want you to fill this vial for me, and if you don't fill it, when I come back in here, I'm going to give you a shot. You hear what she said on the shelf, and he said, Well, I can't hit it from here. I got close uh, twice. Anyway, she come back. She said, I thought I told you to fill this vial for me, boy. You want me to give you a shot? Oh, tickle me to death. She left, and they brought his dinner in there. There was some apple juice on the tray. He said, watch this. He took that vial, and he poured that apple juice over in there. Said, see what she thinks about that. Set it there on the table. She come in and said, oh, I'm glad to see you done what I asked you to do. Picked it up and looked at it said, it's a little cloudy, though. He said, let me see. Let's run it through again, want to? I'm telling you. All right, what we got now? What about a uh, ball game? That'd be good. Uh, we had so many kids in our family, we had our own baseball team. We was poor, bad poor growing up. When we was a kid, Lardo won the Ride go to Cincinnati, ride the bus up to Cincinnati, watch the Reds ball game. Pap said, Lardo, you're too young. You're still in high school. So when you graduate from high school, get a little bit older, we'll talk about it. Well, he finally did. He went to him. He said, Pap, I've graduated from high school. I'm 27 years old. I oh, was well, not. I won't ride that bus up there. I'll watch that ball game. He said, all right, then. So he went to Lexington Greyhound bus station. Got him a ticket. Went over there and he seen him seen over in the corner. Said height, weight, and fortune, one penny. He said, "Boy, well, what that's all about?" And he got on the machine, put a penny in, the ticket come out. Said, "You're six foot two. You on your way to Cincinnati." And what else? Weigh two hundred pounds. What said? He said, "Man, that beat anything ever I seen." So he went over there and peeled around. Went back over, got back up on the machine, put another penny in, the ticket come out. Said, "You're still six foot two. You still weigh 200 pounds, and you're still on your way to Cincinnati. He said, it's beating this thing ever seen. Seen an Indian sitting over at a blanket wrapped around him. So I borrowed a blanket off that Indian and covered myself up, and that thing won't know who I am. Well, he tried to borrow the blanket, and the Indian wouldn't let him have it. They got in a fight. He fought that Indian for 30 minutes. He finally whipped him and took his blanket away from him. Went over, and he covered himself up, got up on the machine, put the penny in the ticket, come out. Said you still six foot two, you still weigh two hundred pound, and you done messed around for the end and missed your bus to Cincinnati. How's it go? I remember when I was a lad, what a great baseball team we had. People came from miles around to watch us play. Play the red legs, beat the legs off, play the white socks, beat the socks off, play the Astro, and I think it rained that day. Daddy played first base, mom played second, brother and sister, pitcher and the catcher. Shortstop played by a good old boy named Sue. In the outfield, shaking fly, three big home run hit and got. Brother Dart and Martin cutting far go too. Barnyard we'd go to learn to pitch and catch and throw. There was cows and horses all over the place. We all laughed until we split when our daddy got a hit and slid into what he thought was second base. Daddy played first base. Well, I played second. Brother and sister, pitcher and catcher. Shortstop played by a good old boy named Sue. In the outfield shaking flies, three big home run hitting guys. 
brothers Art and Mart and Cud Fargo too. One time I had to take Burley's place, he got a hurt playing third base. We drug him in the shade and laid him in the grass. Big base runner come sliding in, he had big sharp bikes on him. He tore Burley's overalls and cut his face. Daddy played first base. Mom played second. Brother and sister, <laughs> pitcher and catcher. Shortstop played by a good old boy named Sue. In the outfield, shagging fly, three big home run hitting guy. Brothers Art, Mart, Cud, Fargo, too. Brothers Art, Mart, Cud, Fargo, too. We, uh, Take you a minute now and share this page with other folks. It's uh, the Moron Blur Brothers Bluegrass dot com. In the, it's a Facebook, and uh, then you check us out on uh, Moron Brothers dot Carbon TV dot com. But uh, take just a second and share this page with some other folks if you like it, and if you don't, well, send it to your worst enemies. All I can tell you. But uh, we're talking about the doctor there a while ago. Yeah. We lost a good doctor there in our hometown. Yeah. I hate to see him go. He was having affairs with his patients. Yeah. It's the best veterinarian we ever had. I hate to see him. But took my mother to the doctor the other day. Bless her heart. She went up there, and uh, she'd never seen this doctor before. He was a specialist. And she went in there, and he come in there, and he said, uh, well, I see where you've been on this medicine and that medicine, and you had this surgery and that surgery. I'm going to let my nurse take your vitals and come back in here, and I'll be back in here in a minute here. So she said, uh, I don't know how he, i never seen him before. How do he know all that stuff about me? I said, well, maybe he Googled you, Mama. She said, no, he never laid his hand on me. Mm. She didn't understand at all. She gets things mixed up. But uh, what do you say? Let's do, uh, get up and do, do the Greenville Trestle. We can do right, that. Man, we'll do it. Train song. Right, train. Was it Dean Osborne and J.D. Crow? The way I heard it, it was Dean Osborne. J.D. got him a brand new yeah. big bus. And he told yeah. Dean, he said, come on, let me show you how fast my bus go. They got on the bus, and they took off down the road, and Dean was driving, JD, or J.D. driving, Dean sitting there looking out the window. Well, they're going down the road, look up, and a train coming. Dean, J.D. said, watch this, I'll show you how fast my bus go. I'll, I'll beat that train. Well, he carbided that bus, sped up real fast. Dean said, what are you doing? He said, I'm going to show you how fast my bus go beat that train. Dean said, you can't beat the train. Go get them both killed. Well, that, J.D. seen he couldn't beat the train, so he cog-locked that big bus, went sliding down the road sideways. Oh. Paint the picture, don't he? Slid the screeching halt about that far from that train. Dean Albert sitting there with his eyes about that big, watching that train go by right in front of him. The more rubber tars was a smoke and burning on that black top. J.D. looked over at Dean and said, Do you smell that? Oh, no. He said, I reckon so. I'm sitting in it. Along the track, 
That road across the Greenville Trestle line But the whistles don't sound like they used to Lately not many trains go by Hard times across this land We know we're for the railroad man And the Greenville Trestle now don't seem to hide When a lonesome whistle's whine, I get rambling on my mind. All the way say you still sounded that way. As I turn the head for home, she rumbled along into the sunset at the close of the day. But the whistles don't sound like they used to. Lately, not many trains go by. Hard times cross this land, we know work for the railroad man. All the Greenville trails are now don't seem to hide. All right, then. Oh, Lord have mercy. Look here. Well, look, look what I found. Oh. Last time I heard it had moonshine in it. Now it's got a dollar. Look at our tip jar, it says. Tips? Yeah, that's what it says. Like, if you, you seen them naked dancers, they have them tip jars. Of we got one, too. I got a tip for you. What is it? Better pull your turnips early this year. Mm. It's going to freeze in November. The Look ground is. You can, you can tip us right now at the moronbrotherstore.com. All right, then. Buddy, that'd be a good thing to do. Yeah. I'll I tell you what let's do. Give me one. Give me one. Let's get up here. Let's do the, what do you think, the Deep River Blues. That was a Doc right, Watson man. tune we just did. Let's do another one. That'd be a good. <clears throat> I seen your truck at the library the other day. Yeah. What's going on with the truck? What are you doing at the library? Reading books. That's where they keep them. Library is an old Greek word. It means <laughs> keeper of the books. I don't know better than that. All right. What was you reading about? Whales had a book on the whale. Biggest fish in the world. They swim around out in the ocean and eat Whales. Uh, other fish and People, boats, small I boats. I, I know a little bit about the <coughs> whales. Mm -hmm. They ain't even my fish. They eat little bitty tiny stuff. I don't know what you're reading, but must have been wrong. If it looks like a fish and swims like a fish, it must be a fish. Uh, how are we going to get out of this? Well, One of them swatted a man. Huh? He's a very big man. He was, he was six foot 12. All right. Named Jonah. How are we going to settle this? We need to go on with the song, Deep River Blues. I, well, I'll tell you what. How do you, when I get to him, I'll ask Jonah. Okay. What are you going to do if Jonah didn't go to him? What if he went to the other place? You can ask him. All right, then. Got, look, got a harmonica here. Oh, here we go. Got the right one. Y'all know what you got when you got a harmonica player up to the neck and concrete. Not enough concrete. Here we go. Well, let it rain, let it pour. More. I got them deep river blues. Let the rain dry right on, let the waves sweep along. I got them deep river But she walks like a waterfowl When I got them deep river blues Take me back to Muscle Shoals Times are better there, I'm told I got them deep river oh, Pick it out, brother Now, 
Lardo and Burley are sitting in a tree. One of them's a moron, it ain't me. I got them deep river blue. He's a pick and guitar, happy as can be. He put the ugly, ugly. I got them deep river blue. When I got them deep river blues If, if you ain't already uh, Please like, like us, us on, on Facebook, Facebook. Buddy, I've seen you reading something else there a while ago What was that oh, you this had? Is awful. This, I got bad news Oh, well, that's what we want here, bad well, news it, It's, I'll tell you what it's it's pretty terrible. I hate to do it, but you need to quit all that lying right now. I mean, I I've noticed you doing a whole lot of lying here lately. You know where liars go, don't you? Washington D.C. Well, well, somebody told me that <clears throat> Miss Hillary had to get the Secret Service people to call her dog because he don't even believe her no more. <laughs> well, all right then. It says here. Please join me in remembering a great icon of the entertainment community here in America. The Pillsbury Doughboy died yesterday from a trauma of too many pokes in the belly and a yeast infection. <laughs> he was 71. Doughboy was buried in a lightly greased coffin. Dozens of celebrities turned out to pay their respects, including Miss Butterworth, Hungry Jack, Betty Crocker, and the Hostess Twinkies. Ain't the mama delivered the you you lo you lo you lo you go you go, you go, you go, you go, you go. <laughs> said some kind words, and lovingly described Doughboy as a man who never knew how much he was needed. Doughboy rose quickly in show business, but his later life was filled with turnovers. He was not considered a very smart cookie, wasting much of his dough on half-baked schemes. <laughs> Despite being a little flaky at times, he was a crusty old man and was considered by millions to be a role model. Doe boy survived by his wife, Play-Doh, two children, John Doe and Jane Doe, plus they had one in the oven. He is also survived by his elderly father, Pop Tart. <laughs> now you know. Yeah. Talking about Hillary Clinton, I, I heard her and Bill had a big falling out. Uh, and she just went on and. They got the falling out, and Bill told her, he said, look, I've done had your tombstone made in case, in case you die before I do. And uh, she said, well, what is it? What's it say? He said, here lies Hillary Clinton. That's what she does the best. <laughs> she said, well, I've got yours made, too. And being you showed me one I, you made for me, here's one I made for you, big boy. Here lies Bill Clinton. He finally sleeps alone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, right, what about then. Uncle Bill? Can we uh, do that one? Man, I like try it. it a little bit, but we'll try it. <clears throat> Let me get up there. That's about as good as I'm going to get it, I think. That'll work. All right, then. Tell them a little it's, bit about this. This monk about my Uncle Bill. When I was a kid, I had Uncle Bill, and he played the guitar, and I didn't know it till I got my first guitar, and he come by the house one day, 
My daddy told me, well, Billy, your Uncle Bill played the black guitar. He come in, and I got my little guitar out, and he got him a pick out of the billfold, and he reached and crossed your leg and come in playing the boogie woogie. He loved the boogie. And he, I learned a lot of it from him, and anyway, <clears throat> this is how it goes. Well, I started picking the guitar when I was 10 years old. And I learned a few of them country licks from the radio. But the lick that I remember best, and I guess I always will, is the guitar boogie country lick played by my Uncle Bill. And he go. Songs he could do them all so well. He played them Jimmy Scanner tunes, he'd love the music too. But the thing that he did best of all, and I loved him most by far, was the guitar boogie country lick up on his old guitar, and he'd go. buddies of mine, but the lick and I still pick the most, and I guess I always will, is the guitar boogie country lick I learned from Uncle Bill. Well, Uncle Bill is gone now, but his memory still lives on, in the music that I play, and the lyrics of my song. And each time I pick up my old guitar, and each time I start to pick, in the memory of my Uncle Bill, I hit that boogie leg, and he go. some good advice years ago. What's that? He said they told him hard work would build your muscles up so it looked like to him he'd wear them out. <laughs> Don't forget, if you want any of this stuff on CDs or DVDs, you can get them at the moronbrotherstore.com. The moronbrotherstore.com. We got all that stuff. Baloney hats. Talking about baloney hats, that'd be a good one to do. Wait, you want to give that a shot? Baloney song. Big fried bologna sandwich the other day down at Fitch's IGA. Will Moore, Will Moore Kentucky. Kentucky, son. We busted Will Moore wide open. If you want a good fried bologna sandwich, ain't no better place in the world. World-renowned fried bologna sandwich. Fitch's IGA store. We filmed a video down there. We like bologna so well, we wrote a song about it. I hope you enjoy it. Down in Kentucky at an old country store Sitting round the pot belly store Talking about the farm and talking about the war Talking about things we really love 
One thing we really love is a big bologna sandwich Fix the good old boy southern kind of way I know it sounds funny Wasn't for bologna, we wouldn't be here today Now give me onion and tomato Cheese, lettuce, mayo A thick slice of bologna between my bread Stomach is a waiting, tongues are salivating Need you slow, don't let it go to your head your inside will be tickled, you can even have it pickled And bologna salad sure is a fine I want a big bologna sandwich at an old country store Lord have mercy, that's the way I want Fling a craving on me, brother Sausage and jerky, pickle loaf, Dixie loaf and ham. Liverwurst has got me, we ain't much on salami, but we are a little partial of spam. Try them all, brother, and one time or another, I always go back to the same thing. When it come to cold cuts, they're all good, but bologna still the king. Give me onion and tomato, cheese, lettuce, mayo, a thick slice of blown between my bread. Stomach is awake, tongue to salivate, and eat it slow, don't let it go to your head. Your inside will be tickled, you can even have it pickled. Bologna salad sure is fine. I want a big bologna sandwich at an old country store. Lord, I'm mercy, that's the way I want mine. Let me try this hard. Gravy man sure makes life worthwhile. And them garden fresh tomatoes get a ripe on the vine. It makes me and my bologna smile. One time my wife took a bologna casserole to church. After that she was the talk of the town. The women were the fighting over her recipe. Made the preacher socks go up and down. Give me onion and tomato, cheese and lettuce, mayo. Thick slice of bologna between my bread. Stomach is a weak, tongue to salivate, and eat it slow, don't let it go to your head. Your inside will be tickled, you can even have it pickled. Bologna salad sure is a fine. I want a big bologna sandwich at an old country store. Lord have mercy, that's the way I want mine. A big bologna sandwich at an old country store. Lord have mercy, that's the way I want mine. He's full of bologna. I got thinking about this song. Remind me of my uncle Jim Day. He was an old bachelor <coughs> feller, raised hogs all his life. And he was just he he let them go come all underneath the. He lived up in the bank in the in the side of the hill there, and the hogs just run loose underneath his porch and and uh, stayed mostly underneath his porch. And it got smelling pretty bad. It kind of gave me there, and the health department come out there and said, "Look, Mister Jim." said, uh, this ain't very healthy. And he said, I don't know why I ain't lost a hog yet. But uh, <laughs> I got to think about that. I wrote a song a few years ago about a hog I had. And I'm going to try to do it. I don't know whether we can get through it or not. I ain't done it in a long time, but it's a pretty good song. This hog thought he was a dog. Oh, Lord. His name was Colby. All right, then. Well, I had a little hog named Colby, and he used to follow me around. He'd bring me the morning paper, like me to read about Charlie Brown. Taught him how to bark at the garbage man, showed him how to pee on the tire. When he wanted outside, he'd scratch on the door and head straight for the neighbor's yard. Colby was a mixed up hog, it is all my fault to treat him like a dog, and he could do anything. Any old dog could do. Roll over, play dead, do all the tricks real good. Whip any dog in the neighborhood. Kobe, they'll never make a ham out of you. A few years went by, Kobe. 
Toby got big. I decided I'd tell him that he was a pig. Didn't like it very much. Tore the fender right off of my car. So I showed him some pictures of a hog in a book, and he squinted and squealed and didn't want to look and got mad, and he rooted the carpet up off my floor. We were watching TV a few nights ago and the Muppets came on, it was his favorite show. I hollered, hey Colby, he was blowing bubbles in the tub. About the time he came in, plopped himself down, Miss Piggy walked on wearing an evening gown. Colby got excited, I think the boy fell in love. So we went for a drive in the countryside out to old man Jenkins' farm. Bought the prettiest little gilt that the old man had. Colby held her in his arm. On the way home, I nearly fainted. I looked in the back, Daisy getting acquainted. It was a quick courtship, short honeymoon. Now there's nine little Colbys running around my living room. Colby was a mixed up hog. It is all my fault to treat him like a dog, but he could do anything any old dog could do. Roll over, play dead, do all the tricks real good. Whip any dog in the neighborhood. Kobe, they'll never make a ham out of you. Oh, Kobe. Kobe. Woo-wee. That's, that's one of Lucas's um, favorite songs, too, right there. Yeah, he's I know. He's Lucas. got a grandson, Lucas, boy. He's <clears throat> tougher than woodpecker lips. He loves that song. Yeah, he... He was in the first grade. They took him to the cafeteria that first day and had a big bowl of apples there. He loves apples. Teacher said, Lucas, just get one. God's watching. Well, he gave him an apple, went down on the end, had a great big bowl of cookies. Told his buddy, said, get all these cookies you want. God's watching them apples. <clears throat> his mama went out. His mama went out putting this makeup on her face. Yeah. Or he put, he put this stuff on her face, and, and he said, what you doing that for, Mama? <laughs> she said, well, I'm trying to make myself be more beautiful. Then me, she took some Kleenex, started wiping it off. He said, what'd you do, give up? <laughs> <laughs> what he, I heard him talking about a mouse. He was asking her something about it. I didn't hear all of it. Something about oh, a mouse. Oh, yeah. He, well, he, he's having his granny a birthday party there. And one thing she said, he said, Granny, how old are you? She said, honey, I'm 39 and holding. He said, how will you be if you turn loose? But it wasn't long. He come in. I heard a bunch of commotion. He come in there. He said, Paul, how much water does a mouse have in it? Yeah. And I said, I don't know. I guess about a half a thimble, maybe. He said, no, nah, he's got more than that. And I said, how you know? He said, one just ran up Granny's paint leg. Yeah, what's that? She said, she grabbed it right there and squeezed it. and said, I'll bet you two gallons run out of it. Mm. Big thimble. <clears throat> All right, now what we got, Rick? Why don't you do one for us? Let's see. Let's pick another one. Well, we ain't uh -oh. picking another Do we have another one? Yeah. All right. Now what about the Cannonball Blues or something? Cannonball something? Blues or St. Anne's Real? Uh, we... Yeah, we ain't done St. Anne's Real. Let's try yeah, it. Yeah, let's try it then. Thank you. 
Don't forget to go to our online store, themoronbrotherstore.com, and you can get all of our products there. You can even tip us there, too, if you want to. We'd appreciate it. I noticed you've been under the weather. What's going on with you? Oh, no, I've been, I went down there the other day. I've been sick, and I, they told me to eat some chicken noodle soup, and I've eaten some, and I'm telling you, ever since I eat it, I've had this terrible tickling in my throat. <laughs> I keep... Coughing or coughing. Dang God, I don't believe they plucked them chickens. No wonder you coughing. Man. All right, we're going to close this thing out. Let's try to do it with a good gospel song. Right. I wrote this song several years ago. Old Stone Church House. Way back in the mountains, there stands an old stone church house. That the child my mother took me years ago They taught me about Abraham, Moses, and David How the Son of God, he died to save my soul I grew up and I went astray Satan got his hold on me I thought I forgot how to pray Till mother passed away I went back to the old stone church Out mother was buried there I cried out her name, oh Lord, it turned into prayer. Broke in the sweat and I cried and I prayed for all of my lost years. For the blood of Jesus, I prayed sweat and tears. Became my wife. She made me the father of two little boys. I wish my mom could see. I take them back to the old stone church away she used to me. I went back to the old stone church house. Mother was buried there. I cried out her name. Oh Lord, it turned into prayer. Broke into sweat and I cried and I prayed for all of my lost years. For the blood of Jesus. I prayed sweat and tears Now Lord I miss my mother She's better off I know Up there with the angels No more worry for my soul Cause she led me back to the old stone church After all them years And for the blood of Jesus I prayed sweat and tears I went back to the old stone church Our mother was buried there I cried out her name Oh Lord it turned into prayer Broke in a sweat and I cried And I prayed for all of my lost years For the blood of Jesus I prayed sweat and tears all the blood of Jesus, I prayed sweat and tears. Thank y'all. Thank you very much. God bless you and God bless America.